After spending yesterday night at the Makupa Police Station, the renowned televangelist Ezekiel Odero of New Life Prayer Center and Church in Mavueni, Kilifi County, appeared at the Shanzu Law Courts for an application hearing. In solidarity, the courtroom was fully packed with his wife, faithful, friends, and pastors. In the oral application made by the prosecution team led by Assistant DPP Peter Kiprop, they had requested the Senior Principal Magistrate Joe Omido to remand the tele-evangelist for 30 days pending investigations to the allegations poised against him, which include deaths reported at his premises in Mavweni and indoctrination of the public. The investigative officer um, shall inform the respondent of his rights under Article 49 of the Constitution by serving him with a photostat copy of the same of, of the excerpt of the same at the commencement of the detention period. The respondent's lawyer Jared Magolo argued that his client was not a flight risk. If an offense has been committed, it is not taken for granted that a pastor would ordinarily and necessarily have influence over the followers. For a witness saying that Pastor Ezekiel did this to me, but we don't have. The prosecution team argued that there could be a link in the bodies being exhumed from Shakahola since Pastor Ezekiel and Pastor Paul Mackenzie had a commercial transaction of the TV station he uses to air his sermons. By determining this issue, the court has to decide is it going to follow the latter decision or is it going to follow the former decision. So my submission is just limited to urging the Honorable Court to not follow yeah. this decision that has been rendered because it did not consider the previous decision in the context of Article 49 1G. The senior principal magistrate, however, directed that the accused stays in police custody at the Port Police until Tuesday 2nd of May when he shall give further directions and make the ruling. The directions that this court gives is that uh, the ruling in this matter will be rendered on the 2nd of May at 11 in the morning um, here before this court. And um, the respondent will, in the intervening period, remain in police custody. The Communications Authority of Kenya has in the meantime suspended with immediate effect any further broadcasting by the World Evangelism Television and Times Television associated with tele-evangelists Ezekiel Odero and Paul Mackenzie respectively. The two tele-evangelists are under investigations over the Shakahola tragedy in Kilifi County. For Easy Friday from Mombasa County, I am Anne Boru.